You can send your birthday donation to P.O. Box 7330, Branson, Missouri, 65615. These birthday offers and more exclusive items are available right now on our website at jimbakershow.com. Go online now. Thank you for your prayers and financial support that helps keep us broadcasting around the world. I want to, you know, honor Ronald Reagan today. I'm, I'm a little even hesitant to, to start playing these tapes I because know you are. they're so meaningful to me that because I haven't been able to touch them in 37 years. Right. I want you to be able to see the last part more than any other part. So I'm not going to start with the end. I'm going to start with the beginning. Just as I sat down, I was this little kid uh, in my 20s probably. I don't know exactly you were how old. You were in your 30s. Was I? You were like 39. I looked very mm -hmm. young. My <laughs> voice was high-pitched. And, uh, you know, just a kid, really just a kid. Let's open it up just the way we opened it up. And uh, we, we, we talked about would he restore the quality of life in America? And if I could ask Donald Trump the same question, that would, I'd, I'd like to ask him as he enters office, will you? And I know he's already said he would. But, and so... This is from 1979, my first meeting publicly, not publicly, this was a private meeting in his office yes. with Ronald Reagan. I'm here today with Governor Ronald Reagan in his office in Los Angeles, California. Governor, I want to thank you for allowing us to come and share these moments with you. Well, I'm very privileged to have you here. Looking forward to it. You know, I think one of the things that we hear a lot of talk about today is the quality of life in America. If elected president of the United States, Governor Reagan, do you have any personal goals to restore a quality of life? Well, yes, and yet you have to remember that one of the things I strongly believe is that the federal government has invaded provinces that are not properly uh, that don't properly belong to it. And so, if you mean do I have some program whereby I would impose on, on local or state government and so forth, no. But I do think that the presidency uh, offers an opportunity for moral suasion and by example and so forth. And I think that uh, there are things. For example, having been in the industry that I was in once, I do not favor censorship. But I do believe that uh, you can set a kind of moral tone and the people themselves will then be the, the censors. I've always thought that, uh, that the people, if, they're, uh, if they don't buy tickets to something uh, that probably should be censored if, if you go with the moral tone, uh, uh, that will be a censorship very effective. Wow. Wow. I think hey, actually, we just said that earlier on one of our programs today. That's right. That the best, you know, we don't, he didn't believe in censorship, but if you just don't buy a ticket to hear them, that's speaking very loud. That's right. That's your voice. Yes. Does that ring bells with you in history? <laughs> in 1979, I was teaching at a boarding school up in Maine, and it was my first teaching job. I was trying to save money to buy a house. Maybe we'll talk about that when Ronald Reagan talks about the economy. But when it comes to quality of life, well, let me touch on the fact of being a teacher across a span of, gosh, I'm scared to say, almost 40 years. What I teach now to very good college students is remedial. The whole system has become so bureaucratized, so controlled by the left, that the common knowledge we imparted to kids in eighth grade about our country, what it's founded on, how the government works, all of that, I now have to teach at a college level because they're not getting it at the junior and senior high school level. The quality of life, what we see ourselves arguing about today, was unthinkable 35 years ago. I'm just telling you, yes. the quality of life totally has is something down. that we can bring back to America. Yes, we can. We really can. You, you've really 
has become a prepper. In fact, you've been on some even prepper shows and things and conferences mm -hmm. and things. If you were telling somebody who's not really prepping and hasn't started, what's the basics that you would say, get started, do these things, get going today? Start with this. Good. The most fundamental thing every prepper needs is clean water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This ministry provides these types of remarkable filters that could literally save your life. Let's go down to Maslow's hierarchy of need. We'll still have supposedly clean air. You need clean water, food. Start with, isn't there, Jerry, isn't there like a 50-day pack of food, a 50-day yes. container? Yes, 50 day. yeah. We had the 50-day right here. Just one of those, that means we 50 have... meals for, or 10 days for five people. That's right. I we, would start right No, with but that. that one right there, he, somebody just put it on the screen. This is the one that I think is the crazy, the most that is a, That is about a dollar, 30 cents. dollars. Yes. yes. You're getting 150 meals yeah. of food for $77. Yeah. A dollar, thir a do what, a dollar 40 a day. To, to stay alive, food. and it's our best survival food. And it would be something if somebody was interested in maybe going with the seven years or something like mm -hmm. that, something, but you just want to try it out. Order that one and eat some of it. Just try it. Very important. Right. Try it I out. Dare you. Oh, it just that looks so That is good. the 18 different recipes in there. So the, many have some. Nobody has 18. First would be water, then food, mm -hmm. sense of security. Mm -hmm. You have some really wonderful uh, flashlights, battery-powered flashlights, communications. You want a shortwave radio. I see one sitting oh, right on the table yes. right there. Mm-hmm. These are the fundamentals. These are the basics. Do we have any deals on the radio this time? Yes, sir, we do. The, that radio with a flashlight is, a, is $77. Yes, sir. And this gets to all the weather channels. It gets it's all these other channels. But it has uh, several shortwave mm -hmm. radio channels right. as way as, I, I think it has AM and FM. It does. Right. It? Yes, it does. Right. So it, it is just... They come in all different colors. That's a great. That's pick a blue. I've played around Seven with it's a good radio. Seven different weather bands. It comes yeah. with two shortwave radio stations I bet and then an AM FM radio station. It's a good well. radio. Mm -hmm. I bet you could get a lot of stations up in your mountains. Uh, yeah, and you, you tune in at night to shortwave. Yeah, but that keeps you informed as to what's happening mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. So it's a for for seventy seven dollars you get that plus a short not a One shortwave, of the black but a, flashlights. a solar flashlight. The solar right, flashlight yeah. comes with it as a bonus right, right now. It's powered by the sun. Jerry, and so, you have an entry-level uh, fuelless generator, do you not? We, we do. We do, Doctor. We, we, have, Don't we have a starter kit that starter? With, the, with the generator, the big generator, and that's the 600-watt generator with a solar panel and an extension okay. cord. And what's the donation on that? That one's for $2,000. Yeah. And that, that's been reduced for a Christmas sale, and it's supposed to go back up today. But let's just hold it okay. right now for these few days. Sir. Why we're trying That's to down from $2,650. Yes. So wow. we're taking $650 off. You know, in, in today's budget considerations, mm -hmm. for a lot of folks, they go, oh gosh, it's, it, there's so much I got to do. Mm -hmm. Take it a step at a time. Yeah. Do some right. entry yeah. level stuff yeah. if you've never done this before. Or for those who already have a supply, think about putting a little bit extra in to help your neighbors, yes. help your friends. The, the, this is like a modular system. You can keep building the blocks yes. up until mm -hmm. so you, you have a good sense of security. Do you have that uh, that heat? Because uh, you, you, you keep talking about cooking the food and heating yes. the food. There, we have a bucket on sale. Uh, don't we have a $77? We do, Pastor. There's two of these uh, fire starter kits. Mm -hmm. They have 24 discs in each of the buckets, two of these, so 48 discs. And it also has a little folding cook stove and some matches that yeah, come Yeah, I don't into think it. people realized that that little stove comes with it. So, I mean, yes. it's just automatically, you're, you're not just getting uh, the... the they, they look like hamburger patties. But, they do. But those but are not. But they're nuts. nice individually wrapped, so they're, yeah. you're not getting anything on your hands. But isn't there, is there 48 all 20 together? For 24 per bucket, yeah. so 48, yes. And Two, that's for $77. Yes. And they, they showed it the other day on the air, and whenever you run that again, 
you don't stack them up like that because there's a, a little grill. Do you have it here? This little thing right here, you just take take a half of, of one of these. So then you now you got a hundred of them almost. Just just break them in two and stick it there. Take a match, light it, and then just set the pan right there on top of this. That's all you do. And and you cook. You take a, a cooking pan and just set it right on top. That's all you need to heat up your, your survival food. And so this is a real good deal for $77. And we have, a, we have another deal where they get uh, some 